I went to the Air Force Academy after high school and graduated in 1994, and I joined the Air Force after that when I was commissioned. I got my master's degree in astronautical engineering from the University of Washington in Seattle, and then I went to pilot training. And so I flew F-15C models for my first assignment, and then I transitioned to the F-15E model. And I did a, an operational tour in that aircraft, and then I did a test tour. Uh, I flew in Saudi Arabia for a year, went to school, I worked in Secretary of the Air Force International Affairs Office for three years, and I went back and flew for a year in the F-15E before transitioning to the MQ-9 Reaper drone aircraft, and I flew that airplane for about the next four years. I think the most memorable thing in my career was after 9-11. Our squadron was on call to deploy, and so when that horrible event happened, we all got the call to stay home, pack our bags, get ready to go, and we, the very next day, started training for a deployment. We weren't sure where we were going to. And 30 days later, we found ourselves in the Middle East with a great group of individuals, a bunch of war fighters, learning some new missions, some new tasks, overcoming new challenges. I loved my 28 years in the military, but I do feel like I'm continuing to serve the country, our military, our war fighters, our public, based on what we do here, you know, and one of the things I think I bring to the company is I understand a lot of the requirements from the warfighter perspective. I understand the process that they get those requirements met. From an engineering standpoint, having an engineering background, and so I can talk to our engineering team and say, hey, this is what the paperwork says, but this is what they really need. And so I can streamline that process a little bit. It's the ultimate honor. Very patriotic, like having a family, you know, that was patriotic growing up and seeing that. I was a Boy Scout growing up, so I had a lot of patriotism with that. It's just an honor to be able to serve my country, and it was the greatest experience of my life for sure.